helping our lawyers. Welcome, everybody. My name is Randy. I'm the director here at the Gold Family Campus, Facebook Live. Welcome. Uh, we're going to get started. we got a special guest, Andrew Fussell, who uh, happens to be a son of one of our future graduates here. You're going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, so please stand. To the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please keep standing for the national anthem. <laughs> Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you, Andrew. Round of applause for Andrew, huh? That was awesome. Uh, so we've been running classes here at the Gold Family Campus since May of last year, and uh, it's pretty awesome to see that we've been running a uh, full three-week classes. This one was shortened a little bit by the hurricane, and I gotta give a big thank you to these gentlemen for being so flexible. And, and making time and then working hard to make up that extra time that they lost uh, over because of Hurricane Dorian. As of uh, today, these three gentlemen will make 567 graduates since K9 was founded in 2011, which is pretty amazing to, to think about. And uh, as of this morning, there were 1,089 dogs that we've rescued from shelters across the country since 2011. I want to thank uh, our kennel staff and all our dog trainers, Julie, Grace, Sarah, Dorothy, Debbie, and everybody who works so hard seven days a week to work tirelessly in training these dogs to prep them, as well as uh, making sure they're fed, loved, walked, and all that it takes to uh, make sure that these dogs are ready for these warriors. So please give me a, uh, join me a round of applause for all of them who work so hard. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to Adam, our warrior trainer. Uh, Adam uh, left his home in Jacksonville uh, to be here for the last uh, 10 days, 14 days, uh, to help these guys as they prep through and working long extra hours to make up. And he's done an amazing job. So thank you, Adam, for all that you've done for these guys. Um, so with that, yeah, Adam. Uh, with that, we're going to get started. So first up is uh, Christian and Radar. The thing I like to say is all of these dogs that you see. Sit. Sit. Uh -uh. Sit. Dexter's excited. So all of the dogs that you see here today, they're funded through the, the state of Florida and the Department of Veterans Affairs. So if you get a chance, please take time to thank your local state representatives. For those of you here, and Florida, and those of you at Facebook Live, please Radar. thank uh, uh -uh. your local state Sit. reps for their support. Uh, usually, when our dogs are sponsored, uh, the sponsors get to pick a name. So these dogs didn't have that opportunity. Yeah. These, their names were were, uh, yeah. were were named for them. So I took it upon myself today to give them some meaning. And first up with Radar, I looked that up in the dictionary. Uh, it's a system for detecting the presence, direction, distance, 
and speed of aircraft, ships, and other objects by sending out pulses of high frequency electromagnetic waves that are uh, reflected off the object back to the source. Hypervigilance is a major symptom of PTSD. Radar is Christian's eyes and ears being hypervigilant for him so that he can focus on whatever task is in front of him. Helping his kids how to learn how to ride a bike, doing their homework with them, holding a meaningful conversation with his wife, and basically just being present. Not stuck in the past, but worried about the future. Radar's name holds a lot of significance for Christian, I know. Uh, Radar was puppy raised by Dave and Diane Short, and they drove all the way here from Jacksonville. So thank you so much for taking your time, love, and coming home and opening it for our puppy. Um, they are here today as well. The breeders are Jennifer and David, so thank you for do your donation to canines. Next up, we got Jay and Sarge. Again, Jay, uh, Sarge was funded by the state grant. Sarge, and is abbreviation for Sergeant, which is a non-commissioned officer or NCO in the U.S. military. In the Army, every NCO has to memorize the NCO free. Having seen Sarge's character over the last few months, I'd like to take a few lines from the creed that show who Sarge is and how that character will help Jay and his family. It goes like this. It's just a few of the lines. No one is more professional than I. Confidence is my watchword. My two basic responsibilities will always be uppermost in my mind, the accomplishment of my mission, and the welfare of my soldiers. I know my soldiers, and I will always place their needs above my own. That is Sarge to a T. Uh, Sarge was puppy raised by Angel and Austin Kelm, which are here today. So please thank you, Angel and Austin. And then they were donated, uh, Sarge was donated by Jennifer David. And last but not least, we have Jonathan and Dexter. the best best anyone could ever have they are always there to give you the best hugs and the best laughs everything about them is perfect they are adorable little things and love music if you're lucky enough to be with a dexter cherish him and love him regardless of how much you know it will hurt in the end because he deserves so much love unlimited unconditional love seeing that i am a dexter I can confirm that this definition is pretty accurate. Uh, Dexter was puppy raised by Stuart Q, who's here as well. Oh, please give me a round of applause for that. I also want to just uh, put Stuart on blast a little bit because Stuart, about a year ago, came out and helped us paint fences. Our very first uh, volunteer event we had out here and took the time to come out. And he's just been so supportive of canines for, for a long time. Uh, and Dexter's breeder, Sherry Cagle, and her family drove all the way from North Carolina to be here. So thank you so much for your donation. And life and um, with that, please, another round of applause for these guys. Congratulations. <laughs> So to you gentlemen, you know, one last word of advice because I'm on my soapbox and uh, you know I'm going to enjoy it while I can. Uh, about two years ago, I got to hear General George Casey speak and he said something to me that resonated very much and I like to say this at the end of every graduation. I hope you take something from it. He said, I'm an American veteran. I'm proud to have served my country and I'm not done making a difference. I hope that you guys take that with you. 
as you go forward, hot forward to people else who might be struggling, and uh, go in and be a force of awesomeness. So thank you for everything that you've done and being just an awesome class, guys, and uh, we'll be in touch. Welcome to the k family. Congratulations. So uh, for all of you, uh, if you'd like to say hi to the Warriors, we ask that you uh, come on over here. There's a line. Uh, please don't come on the stones to give them a separation so if they don't feel comfortable, they can go ahead and walk off. Um, they'll come over if they feel comfortable. Say hi, let you make a friend and all of that. So thank you so much for being here as well.